Now locally, we are going to connect to our MongoDB database. I will open my folder. And inside this backend, we are having config. Inside this config, I will be creating one file db.js. I will open terminal and here I will click on plus symbol and inside this root, I'm just going to install this mongoose. npm i mongoose. Hit enter. This package is installed. I will open package.json and inside this dependencies, we are having this package. And this mongoose is nothing but it is object data modeling library for MongoDB and Node.js. Using this, we can simplify working with our MongoDB database. And using this, we can easily define schema-based modeling. We can easily do data validation. And also, we can easily interact with the database using queries. Now inside this, first I'm going to import the package mongoose. As soon as I hit enter, this package will be imported. And here, from this mongoose, we will access this connect method. Inside this, we are going to pass our MongoDB URI. I will open MongoDB compass. Here, I will click on this connect. And by default, we are having three databases. And here we are having this button, add new connection. Click on this. I will copy this entire URI. And inside this, I'm going to paste. MongoDB localhost and this is the port. And after this, I will be giving slash. And here, I will give the database name as e-commerce. You can give anything, but you have to give the exact same URI. And after that, we are going to give the database name. It is going to return promise. I will add then handler. Here. I will be passing callback function and inside this I will pass the argument as data and inside this I just want to display this message I will write here log I will pass this string mongodb connected with server I will pass the string mongodb connected with server I will write this variable from this argument I will access this connection and from this connection I will access host. Now we are running inside localhost. Using this I will have the value localhost. If my connection is successful then I will be having the result. If I am having any error then that I am going to catch inside this catch block. Pass this error object and inside this I will log this message and from this error object I am going to access message property and I simply want to log. But inside this file I do not want to include this entire URI. I will copy, cut it from here. I will open config.env and below this we are going to create one variable dburi and for this we are going to assign complete value. Along with database name, we are just going to pass the value. Now I will save. Come here. Now inside this, I am just going to access. Here I will write process.env.db underscore URI. Whatever variable name we have passed, exact same variable, we have to write it here. And now in this file, again, we do not have to import .env package as well as we do not have to give the path of config file because now this entire thing we are just going to wrap inside one function i will write here const i will give the function name as connect mongo database arrow function and inside this function body i am just going to copy entire code and here i will be pasting so this entire thing simply I have just wrapped inside one function. Now this function I have to use in other files. So here I will be writing export. 
I will close this config.env. Now what I have to do, I will open my server.js and inside this, I will be including my db.js and before accessing the path, I just have to write my db.js. Inside this curly braces, I will be passing my function name. As soon as I hit enter, this function will be imported from this file. And why I am wrapping in curly braces? Because I have done named export. Now once it is done, below this, below this dot config, I will copy this. And here I am just going to call this function. Now I will open terminal. If everything is fine, I will open terminal. Come here, now you can see I should be having this message. And previously we have started the server using node one. So that is the reason successfully I am connected to my MongoDB and here my host is nothing but local host. You have to follow the exact same steps only then you will be able to connect. But now I will come to MongoDB, close this connection. Now here we are having local host. Click on these three dots and refresh the database. Till if you see our database e-commerce is not created. Why? Because we are only connected to the database and inside this month what happens? As soon as we create collection and as soon as we insert the first document, only then our database will be created. So that is the reason you will not be able to see the database in your MongoDB compass. But once you are having this message, that means successfully you are connected to the database.